no one individual person really could do this by themselves. The Office of Student Scholarship Creative Activities and Research provides grant money for research. A lot of our concrete and materials were purchased from that. They were able to test the components of graphene and water and air. We have to do all this materials testing and come up with a concrete mix and we we're just, we build a canoe out of concrete and we get to go race it and you know compete against other schools in the region. All the other guys that had experience in construction and concrete, they all taught us the real world application. For concrete to cure to its greatest strength, it takes 28 days, so pouring it on time was very essential. I'm working on the design while those guys are working on the concrete mix and like what kind of reinforcement we want to use in the boat and there's a lot of kind of internal steps. It's a learning process. My goal is just to win. <laughs> like I want our canoe to do really well, to look good, and to be fast. Which one's gonna break? Which one's gonna snap? Oh, well that one doesn't look that great. And I was like, well at least ours is smooth. Putting it on was like, okay, I really hope it stays upright. And then like we set it in the water and it kind of skews to one side. You test it out and it's not like anyone's gonna criticize you because we're all learning here. So just work off each other's brains and see what we could get. <laughs> It was really touchy getting in the boat just because of how unstable it was. It was really scary and it was took a lot of focus to paddle that boat. The boat was just so fast that even with not being able to put that much power into it, we were just flying ahead of people. It felt like we were pretty far ahead. I'm an engineer because I'm a problem solver, which is mostly what this concrete canoe is based around.